G'day YouTube, 1MJ here and welcome back. Well, the news just seems to get worse and worse for XRP and look, XLM is following in suit. They were both sort of pumping together and now they're both dumping together, although XLM hasn't uh, dumped anywhere near as much as uh, XRP. And look, Grayscale has reportedly dumped massive stakes uh, in both of them. So, you know, these are the institutional... Uh, sort of buyers right here and they've dumped a ton. I did read a tweet somewhere that allegedly they bought back in cheaper but whether that's true or not uh, I can't confirm uh, at the moment but uh, I would say it's more likely that they've just simply dumped it and I doubt that they've bought uh, back in but again I could be wrong and anyone who can find uh, the tweet or any information that they've re-bought back in uh, please let me know. I'd be interested to see but this is a problem for any XRP holders. Now it's down at 21 cents. It was down to about 19.20 cents. Uh, and we've just got to wait and see what happens here. As I said, you know, I did, I guess, you know, kind of panic sell. Uh, well, I don't think I panic sold. I think I made the right decision. I've still got some XRP sitting on the sidelines, but I just couldn't afford to have uh, as much of a stake as I did possibly go down even further. If I lose the remaining XRP and it goes to zero, then whatever, you know, if XRP starts to uh, make its way back up, then I guess I'll just have to buy it at a more expensive price. And look, I might lose a little bit, but, you know, hopefully in the long run, not too much. But really, until I hear that they have settled with the SEC, I'd just rather not be so heavily invested in it. XRP made up almost 15% uh, of my portfolio uh, and to lose that much was just too much. So now XRP, I think, takes up like maybe sort of 2% of my portfolio. But look, the money is sitting on the sidelines. Should something change in XRP, I'll be more than happy to buy back in. And look, if I buy back in uh, at a more expensive price, then such is life. That's just the way it goes. But there's another interesting one over here. So XRP, the third largest collapse of all time. Uh, they're comparing it to like Enron and all the rest of it when they collapse. So, yeah, look, XRP's token, uh, XRP tokens market capitalization has fallen almost 130 billion since its all-time high in 2018, making the cryptocurrency projects uh, decline comparable to the collapse of major financial institutions, uh, and that is uh, extremely disappointing. And when you hear some of the reports about, you know, the market manipulation that uh, Brad Garlinghouse and Ripple may or may not have done. You know, they need to have their reply and their day in court and all the rest of it. But it is pretty pretty poor if those things that are uh, outlined in the, in the document were true. They really have done uh, only themselves favours and absolutely just, you know, basically crapped all over uh, their investors and particularly you know regular investors like us not the institutional investors who you know can afford to take some of the losses and not that they should take losses because of this kind of market manipulation or at least possible market manipulation but yeah very disappointing and I had such high hopes for XRP I was a believer and you know I, yeah I thought they were going to do big things and now uh, I'm really just not sure, and particularly once I saw, you know, the things that have been outlined about the, you know, again, possible alleged market manipulation, that's really disappointing, you know, great if you grab Brad Garlinghouse and Christopher Larson and all the rest of it, you've done just fine, but uh, the rest of us, uh, we have done not so well with XRP, unless you were really lucky and you bought in before it was like even a cent, then yeah, still laughing, uh, anyone who's bought in in the last sort of two years at least is probably uh, down quite some at the moment all right so really that's kind of the big news at the moment we are leading into the weekend so let's go and have a look at the charts all right we'll have to refresh this but 767 billion we're getting up close to that 800 billion dollar mark again i think we got to 880 billion at the peak of the cycle back in 2017 so that's what's scary there's still not as much money in crypto but the prices of some of these things and mainly bitcoin more than anything are astronomical i mean ethereum's still only at half price of where it was so plenty of upside uh, for ethereum uh, again xrp is uh, quite cheap uh, gone down a whole lot uh, litecoin again still only sitting i think at around about sort of half price for where it was so 
basically what it's saying is the majority of money is in Bitcoin at the moment. Now let's do a little bit of a refresh because this is a little bit old. So 767 billion. What do we got? 766. So it's actually dropped down a uh, billion dollars right there. But look, gas prices are starting to go through the roof. I'm not really sure what's going on there, but that is disappointing. Uh, BTC dominance, as we can see, it's up around 70%. And look, could possibly go higher, maybe even up to 75%. But uh, yeah, we'll have to wait and see exactly how that plays out. What are the big movers? Right, 24 hours. Who's really been moving? Well, never heard of these uh, this coin before, but done really well. Uniswap uh, finally starting to make some moves, but look, really only just getting back to sort of where it used to be. Theta Network, uh, I remember when this was well under a dollar, and now look at it go. So congratulations to the other Theta Network holders. XRP, there we go, has bounced back uh, over the last few hours. So, you know, I sold at... Uh, I think 21 cents or something. Uh, so it's around about that price, but to buy back in, obviously I'm gonna lose money. And that's just the way the game's played. You know, I may have made a really bad decision, but you know, time will tell. Maybe I made a good decision. We'll have to wait and see. I literally only sold 24 hours ago, so. Yeah, but we can see there's a couple of good movers, some double digits, so not bad. But again, we're leading into the weekend. There's traditionally a pullback over the weekend. So that's what I'm keeping an eye out for. And at what stage uh, is there going to be a correction? Bitcoin sitting at basically 29 sort of thousand, nearly 30,000. Maybe the correction is soon. Maybe it's not. It's so hard to tell. Uh, every time I think we're almost at the point where there's going to be a correction, uh, it just pumps up even higher. Uh, but that also <laughs> worries me at the same time. All right, losers. What about losers over 24 hours? Yep. Ren's down 10%, uh, but it's up 23% for the week. So I'm glad Ren's finally making a move. Uh, what else have we got? Quant's down. Synthetics Network is down. Look, it was always going to have a bit of a correction. It pumped pretty hard for a minute there. Uh, Stella continues to go down. Uh, and again, uh, a lot of people associate Stella uh, and XRP, both from the same creators and all the rest of it. Similar projects, so it's possible that the SEC goes after Stella at some stage. So no wonder they're losing a little bit here. Um, yeah, so nothing sort of too crazy uh, in the movers and nothing too crazy uh, in, in the... Uh, losses as well just you know kind of standard considering things are fluctuating around a little bit particularly bitcoin you know it just fluctuates between sort of 28,000 and 29,000 well 20 sort of 8,000 and 29,400 is roughly where it's sort of fluctuating last but not least let's go over here and have a look at the charts and we can see where we're actually at so we can see we pumped right up and we got up here. So that was, yeah, 29,000 sort of 400-ish thereabouts. And we sort of uh, have been ranging more around here, the 27.4 to about the 29,000 sort of $400 level. So there's a $2,000 movement. Now, remembering that there's quite a CME gap in there at the moment, uh, and I think it actually comes down... Uh, from the other week all the way down to sort of $24,000 uh, if I'm remembering correctly. So definitely possible that we have a retracement and maybe some kind of 20% retracement. Because look, let's have a look. We go 20% from the top here. That gets us back down to 22000 So thereabouts, let's come back up just a little bit. So yeah, sort of $23,000, a 20 cents retracement. And that would cover that CME gap as well. So this is really what I'm sort of looking for is, you know, are we going to have something like this? And look, it might not even be 20%. It could be, you know, something more like a 15, 17% uh, retracement, which is what we had over here. Uh, the buy pressure is still fairly high at the moment. Again, institutions are still coming and it's just the early adopter institutions at the moment. It's not all the other institutions. Uh, they're still yet to come. So again, just how high can Bitcoin push before it has a really decent correction? I don't know. I did say I thought it would come between 25,000 and 35,000. Now we haven't had one since we hit that 25,000. Uh, and we are yet to make 35,000. And look, we could push straight through it. And maybe it's going to come more at $40,000, $50,000.
Well, we just don't know. But, I mean, it's very interesting times. Most people should be doing pretty well unless you're all in on XRP. Then that's really hurting. And I'm, I'm, I don't want to laugh at them because I, I put 15% of my, uh, you know, available cash into XRP. So that really hurt. Uh, and I, I, you know, I only sold at a small loss, but I still sold at a loss. Uh, and that really hurts. And, you know... I wouldn't be surprised if XRP just simply settles with the SEC. That's really what I think is going to happen. I don't think they are going to want to fight this out. I think they are going to come to uh, an arrangement and they're just going to pay a fine and that will be uh, done with it. I don't think they want to go through the court and the whole battle and all the rest of it. It'll cost too much money. It'll drag on for too long. Uh, and they'll miss basically all this bull market. So I do expect S uh, XRP i.e. Ripple, so not XRP, it's Ripple the company, I do expect them to settle with the SEC. I don't think they're going to want to go to court over this. Uh, and look, it may be something that gets heard very soon. I mean, I think I saw something before saying that uh, they're in court on the 22nd of February or something like that. Uh, I'll have to do some more research on that. All right, that's it from me. It's New Year's Eve here in Australia. I'm getting ready to go hang out with some friends, have a few drinks and have a bit of a laugh. Stay safe. Be kind to one another. Hit that like, subscribe button down below. Hopefully you're on that game train and I'll see you next time.